Okay, so um, let's define rescaled semigroups. Okay, so for um, TT AC0 semigroup as always and uh, we have a let's say a mu in a complex numbers and uh, alpha greater than zero we define the scale semigroup as st equal to e mu t t alpha t for t greater or equal than zero. Okay, so you can see that s of zero is t of zero. That is the identity, and uh, s of let's say t plus little s will be e mu t plus s t of alpha um, t plus s and this will be equal to e mu t e mu s this will be t of alpha t t of alpha s okay so it is a semigroup also so with one semigroup with a t semigroup we can define other semigroups just this way so we are going to use these uh, semigroups in the following uh, level um, before that, um, let's recall some uh, spectral theory notations. Um, we have that the spectrum sigma A is the definition the complex numbers of lambda such that uh, the operator lambda minus A is not be objective okay now the uh, resolvent set this is on row of a is by definition the um, complex we have to take to the complex numbers sigma of A, the spectrum, and uh, the resolvent called just on the resolvent R of the A, we could say that uh, this is the resolvent operator. Um, it's going to be lambda minus A minus one okay so um with uh lambda in row of a okay so this is going to be just uh, the inverse of lambda minus a okay so these are the typical um uh, spectral theory notations. So now our lemma okay so we have uh, A with the uh, domain A is the generator of a Z0 semigroup TT like always 
Um, okay, then for every along the complex number and uh, t greater than zero, we have okay. First, we will want to put all as one equality e to the minus lambda t t t x minus x okay or one can use instead of x f I will use x in this case um a of minus lambda integral zero t e minus lambda s t s x ds and this will be also be equal here is for x in x minus space and this will be equal to um, integral 0 t um, of e minus lambda s t s a minus lambda x ds now the a minus lambda is inside the integral but in this case this was for this case but in this case it's going to be equal if x is in the domain of a okay okay so to to prove this um Look that uh, this is a uh, rescale semigroup. Okay, so we can define S T as uh, as, the, for the, as the definition E minus uh, lambda T T T for T greater or equal than zero, whose uh, generator is uh, B A minus lambda. Okay, and the domain, the domain will be, the domain of B will be the same domain as A. Okay, so for the first, in a, uh, the first equality, we will recall a theorem which appeared this, but you have to consider this uh, E minus lambda T, 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 T as a whole semigroup. So we will use the following theorem here. Case two will tell us that if here we have e minus lambda t t, we will have now e minus lambda t t inside of the integral, and a instead of a we will have a minus lambda, and so we will have the first uh, part of the lemma, and the second part of the lemma will come from this part because uh, just by putting this, instead of the s a uh, is 0 we will obtain the integral 0 t and now instead of a we will have a minus lambda inside of the integral uh, we will have the same formula on this side and we will have the uh, semigroup here inside okay so it uh, follows um, from the theorem. Okay. Okay, so the theorem. We have TT C0 semi group um, on Banach space X. Okay. And uh, we have uh, constants W in R M greater or equal than one such that um T T well recall the the theorem that we have uh, we had this bound this is for T greater or equal than zero okay okay so we have the following properties for the generator A with the domain DA. 
first of all, if uh, lambda is a complex number, such that r lambda x, and this is just a name, let's say r lambda x, that it is the integral zero infinity of e minus lambda s t t, um, t s in this case, um, x d s, exists uh, for all x in x. Uh, well, if we have this, then um, lambda is in the resolving set row A, and uh, the resolvent operator R lambda A is equal to this R lambda that we defined here. Um, second, If uh, the real part of lambda is greater than w, yes, w, um, then lambda is in the uh, resolvent set, and um, the resolvent operator. Um, or lambda a is equal to, well, this integral, e minus s t s x, okay, or lambda x. Um, and the third one, the third one is that the norm of R lambda A is uh, less than equal than M over real part of uh, lambda minus W. This is for all uh, real part of lambda greater than W. So, um, before we prove this, um, the formula for R uh, lambda A is called, this formula, or this one, is called the integral representation of the Resolvent. Okay, so we have that R lambda a x is equal to well, can it can be expressed as the limit when t goes to infinity of uh, zero t e minus lambda s t s x d s. But uh, this can uh, be notated also as R lambda A equal to just the integral zero infinity E minus lambda S T S D S. So as a notation, we will uh, take uh, both x one here and one that is inside and uh, have uh, this notation. Okay, so uh, we will see the proof of uh, this theorem in the next uh, video.